News 2 is your local election headquarters. Today, North Charleston mayoral candidates discussing issues of racial justice and equality in the community during a mayoral forum moderated by News 2's Carolyn Murray. News 2's Taylor Murray breaks down how the candidates say they will solve these issues. At a forum in North Charleston today, candidates running to be the city's mayor were put in the hot seat discussing three big issues facing the community, housing, transportation, and policing. If we address those issues, we will have addressed really the basic inequities in our system, not only in North Charleston, but generally in America. Current Mayor Keith Summey didn't participate in the forum, but all four of his challengers did. Thomas Dixon, Floyd Dodder, Ashley Peel, and John Singletary each given an opportunity to answer questions submitted by voters about the issues that disproportionately impact communities of color. I spoke with all four candidates. Ashley Peel tells me about the need for affordable housing in North Charleston, which has one of the highest eviction rates in the nation. Right now, we don't have a Department of Housing, and so creating that Department of Housing and Innovation and making sure that we're involving the community in those decisions uh, from that department is step one. Candidate John Singletary says North Charleston is lacking efficient and convenient transportation and is also in need of safe pedestrian walkways. Transportation needs to be a line item in the budget. There needs to be a department within the city that deals with transportation because we know that the city is going to grow. In terms of forecasting, we need to be able to keep up with it. Mayoral candidates Thomas Dixon and Floyd Dodder both shared with me how they diversify and improve policing in the community. We're going to begin to reform the police system. We're going to definitely make sure that law enforcement officers understand that there's a moral compass that they will live by. And that compass does not include pretext pre stops. That, that, compass, that, that encompasses fair and equitable police stops. Policing needs to be looked at as peace officers, not law enforcement officers. We don't need people trying to force their way into communities. We need people who are focused on peace. Local Election Day is just around the corner on November 5th. And just a reminder, the deadline to register to vote is October 5th. That's next Saturday. I'm in studio. Taylor Murray, count on two.